Hello boys and girls, thanks for joining me with the conclusion of Jotham's journey, his story as he journeyed to the first Christmas day. And this is the last chapter, it's Christmas Day. Jotham shielded his eyes and looked up. Some of the women screamed and men drew their swords. Jotham's father pushed Jotham behind him, protecting him, now that Jotham was finally back with him. The light spread out until it seemed to cover the entire sky. Everyone seemed to be screaming in terror. Then a loud voice, deep, came booming from above. Don't be afraid, the voice said. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. At these words, the screaming stopped, and the men lowered their swords. Every eye and ear watched and listened as they gazed at the glowing form above them, no longer needing to shield their eyes. The form was that of a dark-skinned man with long flowing hair. He was dressed in white robes with blue and purple sashes. He hovered in the air, light shining from his very being. He held a trumpet in his right hand and a golden scepter in his left. For unto you is born this day, the angel continued, in the city of David a Savior, lying in a manger. And this shall be a sign unto you, you shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in the manger. Suddenly, from nowhere, there appeared thousands of angels, some near, some far. They covered the sky as far as Jotham could see, and lit up the world with their glow. Every single one of them seemed to be looking directly at Jotham. As they appeared, the angels began to sing, Glory to God! And it was the most beautiful sound Jotham had ever heard. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards people. Jotham and all the shepherds fell on their faces, so glorious was the sound. Over and over the angels sang, Glory to God in the highest. So holy was the sight that Jotham hid his face in his arms, not daring to look any longer at the angelic beings. But then, quite suddenly, it was quiet. Jotham lifted his head and peeked around. The sky was dark again, and all was still. The others began rising to their feet, but no one spoke. Finally, it was Jotham's father who whispered, The Messiah has been born. Suddenly, everyone was talking all at once. <clears throat> Were those angels, they asked, or just bright stars? Did you hear him say, The city of David, right? Didn't you? Surely we've all just had some strange dream. But then, as he thought about what the angel had said, a look of shock came across Jotham's face, and every part of his body tingled. A moment later, he grabbed his father's hand and said, Come on! Jotham, what are you doing? Come with me! Jotham shouted, trying to drag his father behind. Come where, Jotham? This is not the time. Father, please, just follow me! So Jotham's father allowed himself to be pulled along and was followed by Jotham's mother and brothers and sisters and Eliakim and all of his family. Jotham dragged them clear across the meadow as fast as he could get them to move, then up the hill on the other side. He led them around the front of the inn, down the little dirt ramp that took them under the inn to the stable below. Once they were inside the stable, surrounded by sheep and goats and donkey, Jotham saw, lying in the manger, illuminated by the light of a single oil lamp, the tiniest baby he'd ever seen in his whole life. The woman Jotham had seen earlier on the donkey now sat next to the manger, stroking the baby's head, and her husband stood behind her, rubbing her back. On seeing the man, Jotham's father gasped and whispered, Joseph! The man smiled and nodded and said, Greetings, my brother. The baby, wrapped in a cloth, made little gurgling sounds, and his mother smiled. Then she looked up at Jotham and said, Would you like to hold him? Her voice sounded like the cooing of a dove, and Jotham almost fainted at the thought of what she offered. But he felt himself nodding his head and watched as she gently lifted the child from his makeshift crib. And then she gently set the baby down in Jotham's arms. The baby gave a little cry, but only for a moment. Jotham held his head just the way Elizabeth had taught him. The light of the oil lamp made the baby's skin glow a warm yellow-orange, and Jotham could feel him kicking under the cloth. He was so light, so delicate. He wondered, how could such a child save the entire world? 
but he didn't worry about it. He just accepted it and thought, what a marvelous day this is. Then he turned back to the others, to his father and his mother and brothers and sisters, Eliakim and Tabitha and all their family, and in a voice as soft as feathers, he said, Mother, Father, I would like you to meet my cousin, Jesus, the Messiah, the Son of God. For to us is born a child, to us a son is given. The government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Thank you for joining with me in this Jotham's journey to Christmas. Merry Christmas to you and your families.